Okay, yeah. now, yeah, on the, yeah. the rest stroke, I mean the free stroke, did you get any time on that free no. stroke? No. Okay, well, all right, so let's, all right, so we get the hand in position like this. So I'm gonna have my thumb on the fourth string. Okay, now the free stroke, which used all the time, a lot of times mixed in with the rest stroke, this is what people would generally call finger picking like this. See, all the finger picking stuff that people do, you know, when they play that. Um, they don't play something like this, do they? That's all free stroke. Now, actually, when I played, I mix in rest strokes because I played a melody. The melody's up here. I play that rest stroke. Okay, because when you're a skilled player, you can mix in rest strokes and freeze. So you go. It makes the melody pop out and makes the music sound like it has two dimensions. You can, well, actually, three dimensions. When I play this. I have, I have a bass, I have middle notes. Though the middle notes here, are, that's, that's the free stroke there. And then that's the rest stroke. So before we get into that advanced stuff, we just wanted the ability to play thumb, index, middle, and ring, and keep the hand in position. The worst scenario is somebody will play the thumb, then they'll forget about the thumb, the thumb will start sticking out. And then as they press the index on, the thumb will get tense and be like this. Then they'll play the index, and the index will make a bad stroke and come far from the string. And then they'll play the middle, and that'll tense. And so the more they play, the tenser they get, and they end up like this. Okay? And a lot of people will commence to learn the guitar like that, and they will fail utterly. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to learn to use each finger with complete independence from the other fingers so that when the thumb plays, see I'm pressing down on the thumb, and the thumb has been doing free strokes so far. So I'm pressing down on the thumb. And when I play it, my other finger is just gonna be right there. They're not even gonna move. Now you have them lightly touching at the start of this. Okay. Bring your wrist out a little bit more. That's right, and relax your shoulder. Let your shoulder down, that's it. Okay, now that's the thumb stroke and the fingers are just staying there. Now, here's what I want you to do with the index. I want you to keep all your fingers, you can put your thumb back on the string and just play it so it's touching. Then you can take the index and do this. Swing it back and forth. So this is the first thing you do. I call that a fake stroke. We're just, we wanna remove the dynamic of putting force on the string and just teach the hand what it feels like to have the other fingers in place but the index. Now when the index moves, it's moving from here, see? And to get that feeling, you do this. If you put it back on the third string, and then you, you take the finger and put the nail of the finger on the string behind. Wait, I put the nail of my... Okay, right now, my, the skin of my index is touching the third string. Right. I'm gonna now put the nail of my index on the fourth string. On the fourth string? Okay. Yes, on the fourth string. Right. Now, see what that made your finger do? It made your finger move from here, okay? So you took it from the third string and you put the nail of the finger back here. All right. Okay? Now, do the same action except play a soft little note and then put the nail back there. That's it. And put the nail back there. Yeah. Now you notice that the fingertip stays very low to the string. See, here's the opposite. That's the opposite action that we don't want, right? For it to be kicking upward. We want it going backward like this. Right. So you're gonna, so here's your process with each of these fingers. You first do the fake stroke, swing it back and forth, keep the fingertip low to the string, not high. And then you do the nail back. You just take it off the string and put the nail back on the other string behind. Then you play a light note, so there's not a lot of string resistance, and you still put the nail back there. Why and am I then, putting the nail back? Why am I putting the nail back on the fourth? Because it because it's going to prevent me from many hours of correcting you making a wrong stroke. <laughs> it because it forces you to do the right stroke. I got Otherwise, you. uh, your fingers are going to be going far from the string, and so forth. So. <laughs> 
Uh, now, you're, then you're going to increase the pressure with the finger, thereby playing a louder note, but still having the right stroke and still controlling things. That's right. Now, after you do it a number of times with the nail back, then do it without the nail back, but the same finger action. Look. See? But I'm, but I'm above the string now, but right close to it. I see. That's the key. Okay? Now... We do the same process with the middle finger. Here's the middle finger. Now, first I'll swing it, and that's a whole different feeling. So now, thumb's on, index is on, and ring is on, and I'm swinging it, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'll do the nail back. It could be the string behind, it could be two strings behind. Okay. And of course, I'm relaxing my shoulders, I do that. Okay, so my middle finger, I'm putting the nail back on the third string, right? And now I'll make a little whisper of a note and end up with my nail back on the third string. That's it. And then I'll increase the volume until I get this. I like it. Okay? Good. Now bring the, bring the fingers together. They'll tend to separate a little bit because, okay, so make them, that's it. You know, make the, make it, see how you don't see any daylight here? Right. Yeah, yeah. It's a gentle, gentle bringing together. Okay, now the ring, uh, the ring finger. So I'm gonna swing it. So I'm swinging it, and these fingers are lightly touching. And then I'm gonna do the nail back thing. I got, wait a second, I got index on three. Right. I should have middle on two. On second, right. Mm -hmm. Thumb out, get your thumb out. That's it, but don't flatten the wrist. That's it. The ring finger make the nail go on the third string. Yep. The ring finger is most prone to doing it wrong. People use the ring finger and what happens is they do this and it ruins everything. So this has to be the procedure. So I'm doing the nail back. I do the swing. I do the nail back. Now I'll do a light note, a little whisper of a note. And then I'll gradually make it louder. Because the louder I make it, the more more arm tension there is. Your shoulder. Right. Okay. So, so I got to train my shoulder to handle the stress here. And then I make a nice loud note. That's your first, the first stage of your routine. Now you could then do everything that we just did, but do it with the fingers slightly off. Look, I'm taking them off, just like lifting the tone arm on a phonograph player. Mm -hmm. See, it comes on and off like that. And now I will now attempt to use the thumb and keep the fingers steady. And of course, the, always the way to train the hand to do this is like this. Swing first to give the hand the feeling of what it's like, then make a very soft note so there's not a lot of tension to deal with. And then practice increasingly loud. See, I can push the string all the way, play the note, and maintain my position, okay? And that's what you're gonna train your hand to do. So, because if somebody's playing something like this, that's what, okay, they're putting that pressure on that string, and the other fingers are staying there. Okay? But the, this, the second piece is, is, is removed from the strings. Yeah, it's to come off from the string, and just do everything the same. So the index, so I'm off the string. I'll swing. I'll do a nail back. I'll do a light note. Now look at this, I'm doing a light note. Nothing else is moving. See, nothing else is moving. Do a loud note, nothing else moves. And then what, do you think about, what do you think about supporting the hand with a thumb? That is done. Okay, we do that in playing, but I don't think I'd do it right now. Okay. Or, or you could do it sometimes and not other times and see the difference. Okay. Okay. Um, now, so then you do the middle and you'll end up with, the middle's the toughest. You, you'll, you'll always feel a little bit of tension here as you swing the middle. Where? I missed it a little bit. Right here. When, when you swing the middle, your index, well, your index has, it gets pushed out a little bit, but it'll induce tension right in this muscle right here. In fact, if I go real slow, you can see that muscle. What? I'm gonna swing my middle slowly. 
You can almost see that muscle. Okay. See it? It just kind of vibrated. Does it? Yeah, okay. Okay, you want to focus there and keep that relaxed because if it tenses, it pulls this, this first finger away. Okay. Okay, so you have to keep relaxing right in there. Okay, so you will train your middle for a stroke and then you'll train your ring in the same way. And then you start to put it together like this. This is your big, big goal here. Your big achievement is when you can play thumb, index, middle. You see my ring, how it stayed out here? Mm -hmm. My pinky didn't tense. Now I'm going to play the, the ring. Also, my pinky doesn't tense. That'll take some doing. I'll work with you on that next time. You, that, you might have an issue with that. Just try to keep it long and relaxed. Do the swinging first. This is so you don't have happen to you what happened to that, <laughs> that player I told you about. Right. All right, because we don't want that happening. Okay, you'll do that, and you'll train it just the same way. And this is going to turn into nice, easy. You know, finger picking. You know, we can, when we get that going too, and we get into you know, because we'll do regular songs and chords and stuff, and that'll help you build a repertoire. So you won't be like me, or. Everybody says, stop playing all that classical stuff. Play some Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. Very good, all right. Okay. Okay. Up on with that bill, post something midweek, you know, if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm gonna need it because I have to go back over that and see. What this is pretty doing. intense, you know, it's pretty intense. Requires a lot of focus. Right, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're welcome, Bill. Have a good one. Thursday. See you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.